Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we'll look at Lambda Expressions in C Sharp using Visual Studio 2019. To get us started, please if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do. So Lambda Expressions in C Sharp are used like anonymous functions, with the difference that in Lambda Expression, you don't need to specify the type of the value that you, you input, thus making it more flexible to use. In C sharp, lambda exp expression can be expressed in this format. So first, we have got our input parameter, and this is the, the, um, the lambda expression, I mean operator, the equal to sign and then the greater than sign, followed by the expression. Expression or expressions, yeah? So the lambda expression is divided into two parts, as I've actually said now, the input parameter and the expressions. So to get, to get us started, I'll make a very simple example. We initialize by entering the keyword func, with, with a less than, greater than. So in here, it takes in two arguments, two integer arguments, and we name this bit here square. We assign it to first our input parameter, we set it to x, and then the lambda expression operator. Then here we multiply x by itself, so x by x. So this is the very simple lambda expression that we've actually got here. So this being, it, being the input parameter, and here the expression. So we can print it out by writing console dot, console dot y line. So in here we can put our square so here we're just gonna put 10 here the value 10 so basically our input parameter is 10 so once we actually run it it will actually produce 10 squared or 10 multiplied by 10 so let's hit the F5 or the start button to run the program. So now, as you can see here, we've got 100 returned. This meaning that we've got 10 multiplied by 10, that is 100. So lambda expression can be expressed in two, two types, which is the expression lambda, that it has an expression as its body, and the statement lambda. So we're gonna have a look at these two expressions. So first we look at the expression lambda. So a lambda expression with an expression on its right hand side. That is the this bit here. The operator is called an expression lambda. Expression lambdas are used extensively in construction construction of expression trees. An expression lambda returns the results of an expression and takes the the following basic steps. So, so here I'm just gonna start from this bit here. So, so here now we have our input parameter, and then our expression. So the, the parentheses are optional, only if the, lamb, the lambda has one input. So this, this is just an optional, only if there is an input parameter. So to keep us going, let's make an example of an expression lambda. So we're going to use the action keyword. So we have an action here, and we can write to say, we can write something like write write we're just gonna <coughs> use only write so we assign it to here we don't put anything here then our lambda operator and we can say console 
the right line. So this is just a very simple, simple um, expression lambda. So we can actually put something inside here. So we could just say first lambda expression. Okay, so to print this bit out here, we could just write, we could just print it out like writing the write dot invoke. I don't invoke so this will actually print out this bit here so let's run it to see what actually comes out of it so as you can see here we've got the first lambda expression printed out so we have got this bit printed out because we did not comment it so let's comment this bit here now so here for now as you can see here we don't have <coughs> any parameter that comes with this action so we're just going to put one parameter string parameter so once we have this parameter here, then we're gonna have to have a named input parameter. So we're just gonna give it WRT. So we have this input parameter WRT here. So we're just gonna leave this bit here. We're gonna remove this bit. And we're going to only print out the WRT, which is our input parameter. So if you look at it here, now we're getting an error because right now it's taking in an, an, um, an a parameter or a string. So we go ahead by we go ahead by adding or putting in a, a string as the action is take is it's got a string argument. It's taking in a string parameter. So let's put something like. Um, hello from input parameter so in this case once we invoke it this will be passed on as a, our new input parameter so it, it will print that bit out here <coughs> so now let's run it to see what actually comes out of it so as you can see here now we've got got that hello from input parameter printed out here now yeah so before we move on to the next stage I'm gonna show you here you can actually put more than more than um, one one argument so we could actually add another one integer here so here we can also put um, and num for a number so here instead of we can just say put our dollar sign here so now we can first print out a number num and then we can print out a, a string as well so if you look at it here we should get an error so we can fix that by add we can put 120 it's always separated by the comma so as you can see we have we have to put the, the string first and then the number second so the number comes at the second part so we can put 120 here and we shouldn't have any error so now once we print out So now as you can see, we have got both the number and the, and the string printed out. So we move on to the next type of lambda, which is the statement lambda. A statement lambda resembles an expression lambda, except that the, the statement is enclosed in, in braces. So first we're just going to put this bit here. So here we, we can have... Um, have the input parameter and then our, our 
lambda operator. And here we can have a sequence. Sequence of statements. So th this is how actually the state statement lambda is expressed. So we, let's make one as a quick example. So we have our action here. And our action takes a string. So we're just going to say welcome. Message. So the welcome message here we put is equal to um, message as a message as our input parameter and then we put that in a in a brace in a curly brace. So here as you can see it looks a little bit different. The statement this is this is a statement statement lambda. So here we could say we can put some stuff in here like let's say variable date is equal to date time. Daytime. Dot UTC now, and then a variable message is equal to. So we can put a dollar sign here, and two double quotes. So here we can say. Um, message sent on so here there's already a message so we could just rename this bit to a sent so sent on so you can pull our date here then we're just gonna print out a full date Now we can put our message here. The message that is the incoming message. So now we can say console the right line. So we put in the send. So as you can see, it's this uh, it's a little bit strange because it's got a curly brace with some messages inside so we can uh, we can print it out by saying message I mean welcome message then we can put um input parameter or our our parameter a string parameter in here so we can just call it um, hello from Peter so once we run it you see that this bit will be printed out so let's run it to see what actually comes out of it so as you can see here now we've got message sent on the date and then hello from Peter so it's a very simple stuff here now. So now you <coughs> you have the start here, so you can go ahead and try it your own. And I hope this really helped you. So please stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed, please make sure you do. So I hope you actually continue to build it on your skills from this bit here. So I've got lots of videos coming in. So stay blessed. Bye bye.